Hey guys, time for Floss 2. Simon came to join me. See you soon. Hi everyone, it's Julie Silver Stitches. It is Sunday, July 5th, 2020. Uh, welcome, welcome back. Welcome to be here. Welcome, thanks for coming back. Um, so, it's going to be slightly short, only because I don't have that much. I only have three things um, that I want to show you, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to start with, oh, four things. I have a finish. Okay, so I'm going to show you my whips first, and then I'm going to show you my finish, because, you know, why not? So, it's not going to be long and rambly, because... Mm, I'll go back to stitching because obsessed obsessed with the last piece that I'm going to show you so uh, when I'm at work we're going to start with my work project because uh, I work a lot so um, and it's been relatively slow at work so uh, most of you know my work project is oh no um, owl trio and Simon's going to go get the floss that just dropped. So, uh, Owl Trio by Dimensions. It's small, it's easy-ish, it's, you know, it's good. Hold on, please. Alright, so, small, easy-ish. I needed to pick up the, uh, the floss that dropped so that I would not lose it because my cats, this is what dropped, my cats like to take off with things. So, these, these are now like a permanent fixture to my head. You'll find out why. And that is Simon, and he thinks that I'm leaving him because I got dressed. <sighs> Kittens. Anyways. So, here we go. Here it is. Uh, so I filled in his stomach. I started filling in the bottom of, or the branch, the branch that's here. Okay, so branch, bottom of the his tummy, and so yeah, I think I'm going to finish working across the branch. Uh, this is all, like, his eyes are white. I don't really want to, I don't know. I'm slightly, it's, it's blue fabric, so it's not bad, but at the same point, me and white stitches don't really get along, so I know, I know, it, it is what it is, right? Uh, so that is project number one, with number one. So I decided that I, if I need, I decided that if I wanted to continue to start all of the things, I need to finish some things. And the only way that I'm going to be able to finish the things is if I work on the things. Why do you think he's crying so much? Why do you think that is? Is he trying to wake up James? Who knows? Okay, so, uh, so I didn't make a wheel on my phone. I just wrote them out on a piece of paper. I figured out how long, so I'm talking about my dim dimensions kits because I have too many of them. Too many of them are hanging around. Too many of them are, oh my goodness, can't even. So, um, I think I ended up with like 13 or 14, not including Owl Trio, because Owl Trio was already a dedicated piece, right? So, okay. So, I wrote them down all in a line, just randomly, and Dimensions has 10 letters in it. I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Scratch off. 1, 2, 3, 4, eight, and the whole thing until I only ended up with one. So, here it is. I uh, haven't stitched at all on it yet, because I've been working on the next piece that I'm going to show you. But my goal is I'm going to work on it for s I, no, I need to do hours, not days, because days not, they don't they don't work, because then you forget about it, or then something happens, and anyway what I'm talking about, I'll figure it out I'll figure out a rotation, but what I'm talking about is Innocence is the one that I drew, or last to scratch off. So I'm not sure if I still have those buttons, but I'm nowhere near that. So 
if I do, that is cool. If I don't, well then, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when I get there. So here it is where I'm starting this week. Have not put anything else into it yet. So here she is. Um, I still have all of this left to go. Like, this is the end border, I think. That's the... <sighs> if you hear Simon, I'm so sorry. Background. Background music. That's what I'm calling that. So, here she is. Innocence. So last time I was working on her, though, I was working on this side, or I'm working up her face, or... I don't remember. Anyway, wherever. So that's what I'm going to be my Dimension Focus project this week, because, again, if I don't work on the projects, then nothing is going to get finished, right? And I'm starting to have an overwhelming things need to get finished thing. So, what have I been working on all week instead of everything else in the world? Mm -hmm. I was going to start until August. I was going to wait. I was going to hold off. I was going to do all the things. I think I started it. Well, I started it last video, so that was the, what, the 29th? So I started it on Saturday, I think. A little start that looks like this little teeny tiny start little start right and I said to myself I'm going to put it away until August 1st when I can do my high tea apparently high tea was in July okay so um, and then when I I'll show that picture again because I want to read this first because I said that I'd read I don't know if it's a it's a it's a it's a something, because poems don't have refrains, right? It might be a song. Anyway, uh, tis the gift to be simple, tis the gift to be free, tis the gift to come down where you ought to be, and when you find, and when we find ourselves in the place just right, it will be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to. Hi. Okay, so to bow and to bend we shan't be ashamed to turn turn to turn turn will be our delight till by turning turning will come round right i didn't read this before uh, tis the gift to be loved and that love to return tis the gift to be taught and the richer gift to learn and when we expect of others what we try to live each day then we'll all live together and we'll all learn to say Uh, tis the gift to have friends and a true friend to be. Tis the gift to think of others, not only think of me. And when we hear what others really think and really feel, then we'll all live together with a love that is real. Sorry, it's all swirly. It's a swirly font. <sighs> Anyways, um, that was Simple Gifts. It was written by Shaker Elder Joseph Brackett. Junior. Shaker Elder Joseph Brackett Jr. in 1848. So that kind of ties into the whole mess of the world right now. If somebody was thinking that in 1848, why can't we still get it in 2020? Just saying. You can replay that whole thing a whole lot of times. But I'm wondering, because Praise for the Stitches has a whole series of simple gifts. I wonder if that is the... I'm just going to have to buy all the charts and find out, aren't I? The poem that goes along with each of the charts. And then they just change this motif here, depending on what the chart is. Am I going too fast? Anyway. Anyway, so that, somewhere, here, there, somewhere, somewhere is going to be the picture of where I last left off, and then I'm going to show you where it is now. That might be a double take of a picture because who knows. So I'm using uh, 32 Count Fog by Picture This Plus. 
I know I've gone a little bit crazy on Instagram, so you might have already seen it, but I know that you haven't seen this one yet. So, here it is. Um, I am... I just stitched over to the edge of this page. So this is the middle page. Um, this color is Whiskey. This color is Indian Summer. It's a beautiful red. And then the rest of it is Moss by Gentle Art. Mm-hmm. I cannot put this down. I'm like, awake, have to stitch. Awake, have to stitch. Don't stay awake to stitch, but there's enough stitching time during the day. So, at least on the weekends. Because that seems to be my primary stitch time right now, is the weekends, which is sad. Because, in reality, I'm just too tired. Too tired during the week. Um, so, yeah, uh, ten minutes. Oh, no, not not yet. Not yet, people. You didn't see my finish. Well, you might have. I posted it on Instagram, but you might have seen my finish. But this is what it's going to originally look like. Sorry I keep bumping you. My, I, w I thought it would just be easier to keep it on this, the, the Q-snaps. And the kittens are now playing with the ball on the other side of the room. <sighs> anyway, um, so yeah. So this is what it looks like. What it was supposed to look like. I only changed the colors. Um, I did it on a 25 piece, 25 count piece of Floba in oatmeal, and here it is. Um, this was my obsession piece last week. Um, I stitched it until it was done. It took me three stitching days, maybe four stitching times. But uh, yeah, so this is from. Darling and Whimsy Designs. She is a designer out of Newfoundland, Canada, and um, she was donating 75% of her proceeds to two Canadian charities up here. So, hooray, and I'm gonna, one James, because I was stitching it around James, of course, because he's, he's good now. Well, he's better than he was. So, um, so he's been spending a lot more time out in the family room with me, and so he was like, well, where is this other stem? And I said, well, there is no other stem. Like, you know how this looks like? It's like the, the border edge of the piece. And she says, well, where's the stem on this side? And I said, well, it wasn't charted. It didn't, you know, there, this is, that's not how, uh, Deanna wanted to, to chart the piece. Oh, okay. I was like, Okay, didn't forget it. Just wasn't charted. Boys. Anyway, so I find that, you know, I left a good amount of uh, framing space, like a lot of framing space. So that will be good. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to try and finish it in something. I feel like I need that beside my bedside table or like the wall beside ooh, look at that wall beside my my bed sorry jingle ball it's apparently awake time they were all sleeping with me I was watching Floss 2 all morning because now it's I don't know three o'clock in the afternoon or something and um, they were they were all three of them all three cats first time in a long time were all on the couch I'm gonna insert pictures at the end we were watching the Sunshine Stitchers at that point, and so I posted to the Sunshine Stitcher group, and I said, hey, we're all watching you today, so um, that's that. That's all I got, people. Under 15 minutes. Although I do have some editing, but it should be quick because it's only a 15-minute video. So that's all I got for today. Sorry it's so short. Apparently, I'm now a monogamous stitcher. Who knew? Who knew? But this was take number one, so that's good. Uh, as you saw at the beginning, kind of-ish clip, because, you know, Simon comes to tell me. So I'm just going to change my name to Simon Says Stitch or something. Because honestly, or Simon Says Film or something. Um, yeah, sorry about if you... Anyways, I didn't really check myself out before I, you know, picked up the camera and did a selfie with Simon. Sorry. Sorry. 
Okay, so I'm going to let you go to try. Oh, it's not going to be under 15 anymore. But um, Sparkle and Shine, have a great week. And I will talk to everybody later. And I will check in next week. Bye, everybody.